much more than what I heard there, folks. Everybody. Hi, welcome to Spicy Cat Jams. I'm Kathy. And I'm Eddie. We're c &E. That's right. We have. And we have bringing to you the July uh, Retro Pop Box. Uh, <laughs> this episode might be one episode or might be a double because we got the 1970s. And then the 1990s box also. So we're going to do them both on the same video since they're both in July. So. Both in July. And I will say um, the customer service has been excellent. Sometimes it might take a little bit for them to get back to you. But I received the 70s box and I'm like, hey, I changed it to 90s because we got 90s last month. Yeah. And uh, I contacted him to see, and actually I thought I canceled it, so he's like, uh, no, you have one more renewal. But he's, it was like a computer glitch, so we had the 70s previously, and that's what it sent. But then he goes, I'll send you out a 90s box free of charge, since that's what you wanted. So, can't beat that. So, with the same song, as you all know, Sanford and Son, I always loved that. I love that show. <laughs> I, I liked the music. I didn't like the show that much. He was too grouchy. Oh, I loved it. That was the whole Red Fox. I mean, it's just awesome. He was an awesome actor. I mean, I was like, oh, grouchy. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I'm you know. Elizabeth. 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 Yeah. So here's the reason why I picked that song. Look what our t-shirt is. Sanford and Son. <laughs> they were pickers before pickers were cool. That's right. They were That's the right. original picker show, if you ask me. Secondhand antiques. We buy and sell junk. Junk. Yeah, it's a junk back then. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty That's cool. Pretty I cool. like that shirt. That's a pretty neat shirt. That is. So. Get a t-shirt every box, and it's always um, exclusive. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, it'll be a different t-shirt. Now I'm excited to see the 90s box. So. Okay, sorry. Break 1-9, can I get a radio check? Break 1-9, can I get a radio check? CB, breaker, breaker. CB action. Magnet. Caught it. Whew. Fast hands. Um, we had a CB. This was before the day of cell phones, when I was a kid, in the 70s. And we had a CB, and my grandparents had one. Did you have a CB? Yeah, I got one now. I had more than one. What's your handle? Gears. Oh, mine was Tabitha. <laughs> From Bewitched. Of course, I use Gears, and that's also my clone name, so. It fits. I don't know. Trust me, Gears. CB action. Magnet. And I. Do you, do you remember the one movie that. Made it big using you know with the CB in the in the song. Smoking the Bandit. That was one, but Bandit. there's also Convoy was the other. Oh, Convoy. Convoy was a big one Convoy. too. Convoy. Where they uh, they made the movie based on the song itself. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And what I think is super unique is that um, it's slippery, folks. It's a chick. Look at that lady on her CB. That's pretty funny. We, used to, my mom and dad, we had a coffee mug and it had like all this slang, which made it's on here. It made me think of that. <laughs> yeah, he's so clever. I was probably seven and like read it and I'd try and like make a sentence out of, you know, <laughs> using CB slang. I've always been a dork. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Please. Please shut her up. This is a cool. This is cool right here. Does anybody know what that is? Ooh, and that is so, really cool. You know what? Let's not even mention what it is. Let's make it a let's make it a contest. Okay. Okay. Anybody who knows what this is gets it right. Be entered in the drawing. So whoever has the right answer, you know, we might have ten people with the right answer. Their name would go in the drawing. How's that sound? Okay. So whoever answers first, right? Everyone no, can copy. We'll just, no, we'll just put their name in the drawing and then. Yeah. We'll just pick your name out of the hat type of thing. Are they going to win that? Yeah, we'll send this to them. Do you want to win a shot glass from C&E? Yes. 
Tell us. us. It's part of the retro box. Let us know who it is and what this stands for. Do you know any other trivia about that? Where they have a bonus entry if they... Anybody who knows what this is will know what it is. Oh. Okay, never mind. What do you think? Should we do okay, it Okay, well, we're doing it. You All already right. said it. We can't go... So, there never you go. Mind. If you get the right answer, uh, comment <laughs> below... Let us know, and if you are the right answer, we'll put your name in the hat, and uh, whoever gets whoever's name we draw out of the hat will get this from us. And see you need. We'll mail it to you. We will. We'll mail it anywhere, I guess. I have a friend at the post office. That's I'll right. even mail it outside the U.S. We will do that because C and E or C and E. Maybe you'll get the C B action. And we'll throw magnet. this in too. The C B action magnet. Oh yeah, it's all free. <laughs> So, <laughs> so, yeah. He's we'll get keeping there. the shirt, sorry. The shirt stays. The shirt stays. You never know. We might, well, yeah. Keep watching because we might add more rules and more prizes. You never know. Yeah, exactly. We yeah. got two boxes here we're opening. So, those are the two things. You never know what else we might get. It might be a little surprise, whatever. But, you know, we'll, we'll do something like that. It's worth a shot. I think it's fun. So, For those of you that actually listen to our ramblings. Yeah. So, anyways, going on. What is this? Oh, this is cool. now I know what they are. Land of the Lost, Nodniks. And it is... Chaka and Sleet Stack. Yep, Chaka and Sleet Stack. Oh, kids, kids are having fun with the lights. See, I don't... I liked Land of the Lost. I thought it was like a really cool show. But I didn't... Rec I guess I didn't have any of the toys. Were these toys that were out then? Because I don't know what Funko Nodniks are. They look like... I think Early they're just like the bobbleheads bobble type of thing, but I don't know if they're actually... I think it's just more based on the characters and yeah, from the hit 70s TV show. Yeah. So Chaka was my favorite. Yeah, they're just bobbleheads based on the characters, not exactly an actual toy from that day, as, oh, as far as okay. I don't know. Yeah, I say, I don't remember thing. seeing toys of them. Those are pretty fun, though. Urban vinyl bobbleheads. And then, what do we got? One thing left? Huh. This one I don't even know. That's because he was not that old. Tennis oh. in the Astrodome, 6.30 p.m. Thursday, September 20th. Billie Jean King and Bobby Riggs. Does it say what year? Is it on the back at all? Because I don't, I remember well, this is the Retro Box Pop Fun Fact. Yeah. Bobby it Riggs is once the number one tennis player in the world in the 40s. Was not a fan of the female game. In his retirement and at age 55, he challenged and beat the number one female player in 73, Margaret Court, and was thrust into the national limelight once again. He then challenged Billie Jean King, an outspoken female activist and supporter of women's tennis. In a continuation of the series, the match that was televised worldwide and watched by more than 90 million people. That's a lot of wow. time. King worried that a loss by her would set the equality fight back 50 years. So she treated the match as real versus an exhibition and won convincingly. While King's fight related more to equality in sports, her message and approach to the, to the match and the movement were supported outside of sports, and the match became the rallying point of women's liberation. Okay. So that was earlier 70s, which is why I don't... Because I remember Billie Jean King growing up. Mm. I knew about her as a um, tennis athlete and kind of breaking the, the female barriers. But yeah. I didn't know about this um, match. That's pretty cool. Huh. Cool, cool. Okay, well, that's so that's a cool box. everything in the 70s July box. Don't forget. Don't forget. Comment what that is or who it is. Well, we know it's a shot glass. We'll give you oh, that yeah. much. You can't say shot glass. It's a shot glass. So it's... Let's just say what well, the picture on it. What does it represent? Who is it? What is it? Uh, give us. Let us know. Uh, do you know who it is? Yeah, that's a card okay. in front of me. Oh yeah, she read the card. Uh, but yeah, let us know who it is and what it is, what it represents, what it represents. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's now check. We'll keep those two out because yep. we're going to open 90s box. There might be something there to yeah, well, let's, let's make some room. Let's put Chaco and Skeet, 
Skeeter or Skeetlack. Yeah, I don't remember Skeet. Slee Stacks. He Slee was Chaka's friend, wasn't he? Something like that. Or See were... the evil one. Was so bad ones have been. I don't remember. Chaka was just funny. Like okay, so now we got the July 90s box, which is what we actually subscribe to. Yep. And let us see. <laughs> this is cool. This, I remember when I was young and Should have kept single. the 80s box. I rocked that one. Young and single? What would you Sublime. do with that? Awesome. This, this is an incense stick. A burning incense stick. Yeah, but you know the only people that had incense sticks. Not true. I grew Better. up in the country under a rock. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> There was big walls around where she grew up. Anything outside of there was reality. <laughs> Anyways, it's Sublime. You guys remember Sublime? No, I had no idea. You like, don't is that a that? drink? No. So, well, now it is, but Sublime is a music group. And actually, it started out as you know just a artist picture, and then it just went popular from there. But this is a nice Incense one. Sense burner. Yeah. No dorm room was complete without incense and a burner in the 90s. Like with Sublime, you don't have to practice Santeria to relax. Santeria. Oh. Santeria. Santeria. What's that? I don't practice Santeria. Santeria is a black voodoo doll magic. Yeah, not me. Yeah. Okay, we got an incense burner. This is cool. I don't have any incense. Maybe they gave us incense too. You never burned incense sticks? No fire hazard. Really? Oh, Smelly. Fire. Two things my dad hated. This is awesome. What about you guys? Did you guys ever have incense sticks? What, what, uh, what was your favorite odor? I, mine was a cherry vanilla that I really liked, and I, I didn't see. You're, you're I said he thing. knows this. Yes, I, I have, I had quite a few of these uh, in my house, my other, the other house when we first met. I had some of those in there. Pretty cool. Okay. So, anyways. I'll stick with my sense. Continuing. Uh, oh, look. I know this one. It's a comic book. Oh, I thought it was a coloring book. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The high school years. Freaks, Freaks and, and geeks. geeks. Well, that's kind of cool. Have your beeper and wooden steak ready. Comic book. Did you watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Nope. Never watched it. I watched only a few. I babysat for friends frequently, and they were um, kind of hooked on it. They have like little... They taped it, you know, back in the day when we had the VHS, and you had to record it on a tape, and then they'd watch it back with their friends. Okay. This is neat. I, you already know what it is. I saw it, and I'm like, oh, my dad would have loved this. Look at that. 91, 92, 93, 96, 97, 98. You guys know? Look at the colors. Red and white. What could Go it up. be? Oh, huh. I wonder what it is. Do you guys know what this is? The Bulls. Not the Bears. The Bulls. The Bulls. It's their rally towel. towel. Rally towel. So or if you're from Minnesota and was a Twins fan, the Homer Hankey. Homer Hankey's we had. It was a white one, yeah, when they had the World Series out there. Uh, I guess you could take that in the truck and wipe the sweat off your face and feel like a champion. I don't know. Could use it in the bathroom as a hand towel. Any basketball fans out there? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody? That's pretty neat. It's almost more like a washcloth. It's bigger than a washcloth, but smaller than a hand towel. That's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, hey, we forgot to the shirt. We're finally to the shirt. Almost. The shirts... Almost oh, to the sorry, shirt. Oh, sorry. The... Say... He's saving that for last. Yes. This, I didn't know. Sarah had to explain it to me. I had no clue what that was. Pogs. That was a fun game. I love playing Pogs. Some of you guys from the 90s maybe, you know, played Pogs. You got your regular Pogs right there. And then in the back here, you got your Slammer. That was pretty cool. We used to, I used to play that all the time, too. We didn't have pogs and college calculus. Just saying. College calculus. <laughs> well, that's what I was doing in the 90s. One of the most popular games of the 90s. I thought it was Pictionary. 
We know you still have all of your pogs, so consider these additions to your collection. Now, Sarah was telling me that, and she went to the same school here as my hubby. Mm -hmm. They were so disruptive, they were banned from school sometimes? That I don't recall. They were disruptive, though, because people would be playing them all the time. You'd, like, play and trade, or you'd steal them from your friends, or yeah. something kind of like... You know what would be kind of neat? Tell me. Sorry. This would be kind of cool to go with our little, uh, uh, our prize. <laughs> you know, you're, you, it, it's a thing. You're doing shot glasses, you know, not that you have to use it for what it's intended for. But, you know, if you happen to be doing that, have a little fun with the shot glass and playing pog games. Because it is fun when, you know, when, when you're having fun. Fun when you're having fun? Like playing quarters? Can you use pogs for, like, playing quarters? Oh, instead of using playing quarters, you can play pogs. Okay, so look at that. <laughs> you get to guess. Do you have a 90s question for the people that don't know what that is but want to be entered? No, I don't. Not yet. Oh. He's going to come up with one, though. Because some of you are like me and have no clue about pogs. I'll give you a music about... I'll give you a hint about this. And I already I said it. Hint. It's music. It's music go. scene. So, um, I don't think I know this either. I don't know a lot of things. Huh. Oh, that could be the other question. I got it. I'm not going to read it on the card. Show him the shirt. What does it say? Sexy Rexy. It's Rex Manning Day. So, my 90s friends, you want to be entered in the giveaway here for the shot glass hogs and the CD magnet? Tell us what movie that's from. Yes, there you go. There you go. Movie, music, and games. There you go. We got it all. So, let us know. And you never know. The winner might get some extra stuff. We don't know. Exactly. This is just for sure the winner will be getting what we've mentioned before. We might, you know, drag this on for... Well, let's just do it for July. July's issue. Or maybe we might do it for next month's issue, too. Yeah. We like throw these know. giveaways. We don't, we don't put it in the title. We don't put it in the thumbnail. It's for those that stick it out. We just kind of go, hey, we're going to give something away. I did that recently. It was kind of fun. Yeah. On one of my videos. But I tend to like to stuff the box for the winner, so. There you go. We will, um, okay, so I'm, we're filming this now, but by the time I get this edited and posted, I will be inserting the end date for the giveaway. That's so right. you have to put your comment, either what movie is Rexy, Sexy, Sexy Rexy, Rexy from, from, or what music... This is from. What, yeah. So comment, and then Who we're... is it, and what's the name of the album? Oh, okay. I didn't know how you wanted to go that. Yeah. And then we'll just take all the right answers, and um, we'll do a drawing. We'll film the drawing and announce the winner, but... Yeah. So yeah, just... And I'll put the it down below, too, what you need to do to, to enter, and um, the cutoff date when we're going to draw the winner. Yeah, that'll work. Thanks, so, fun. 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 Thanks, friend. Yeah, fun. Pongs. No. Thanks, guys. Have fun. And see we'll you see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. But I was very excited to be trying. That one right there. Cry baby. Cry baby sour gum. I'd never have tried cry baby gum. Because, again, I was in college when the 90s started. Yeah, once you go in college, you, you can't have nothing. I was doing more important things than trying sour gum. But somebody got into the box. Darn kitties. Damn yeah, kitties. Oh. Before we were filming, I'm like, ooh, It was ooh. Ozzy, because he's got the sounds. He could open the box. I said, I go, oh, Eddie, this is the one. I said, should we try the crybaby on camera and see if somebody cries? 